Hi, this is Paul from Comet Hut, and I want to show you in the most simplest way how to do a blog comment. Now, I'm going to assume that you have already set up your Gravatar account. If not, I have put videos on the Comet Hut and Comet Hut Pro websites showing you how to set up Gravatar, and I really do consider that to be a really important part of blog commenting in 2012. Times change, the way we do things need to change, and I think that using Gravatar is becoming more and more important. And I will do more videos explaining why. So this is my personal website, The Newbie Helper, and I have lots of articles on different internet market related things. This is my latest uh, blog post, and I wanna leave a comment. So you would do your name and your email. Now your email is related to Gravatar. So you want to use the same one that you've used for Gravatar. And as said um, previously, you should set up one Gravatar account, one email account for each niche. So in the internet marketing field, I'm known as Paul Falsey and that's my name and that's the email address that I use predominantly now. If you were in uh, the wedding field, you may and probably would and should use a woman's name. So I have a wedding site and I use my wife's name. I have Kathy at the wedding site address um, and I have a Gravatar account set up for her with her picture and she comments on wedding related blogs because it fits with that niche customers you know people when they come to that site they're not going to believe well it will be harder to believe a picture of me talking with knowledge about wedding dresses and I said now I, I really do believe that blog commenting is not just about the links it is about building authority about building leadership in your marketplace so put your website address you can pretty much put anything you want so there you go, put categoryads.net, which is one of my other sites. Great video, as always. Helps if you can spell. I never really realized how important. Okay, now I would, obviously it was a longer post. I would probably put a longer comment. I would always read the blog post and then leave a relative valuable comment okay that's important because you're trying to build authority you know you're not just slamming a backlink out there that's never going to get approved because it's junk i want you to try and put something good and something viable um, all your sites now should be in niches that you at least have a reasonable understanding of if you want to leave a html link you would do it in HTML. So your domain name. Make sure you remember the HTTP, obviously. Okay. And then anchor text. Anchor text. And then close it out. Okay. So that would give you an anchor text with the actual keyword. Now, obviously, this is less likely to get approved. If you just leave it at this with your name, your email, and your website, you're far more likely to get your link approved. And it is still a good link. In many ways, I now consider it to be a vital link because Google are definitely changing the way they deal with anchor text. But okay, so all you've got to do is put in your name, your email, your website address, your comment, and if you want to, and I do not generally nowadays, you can put an a, a uh, HTML link in. So let's submit that one. So, as you can see, it's got my name with a link. It's got my picture because I'm using Gravatar. That, to me, looks far more realistic than if it has just got the plain blue or 
whatever other, even a blank space that some of them have. Great video is always Paul. Well, yes, it is. And there's my anchor text link. Rarely would I approve something like this. It would have to be a real good comment from somebody that I trusted and I would look at their site. You know, you try and drop a link on my site and it's junk, I'm not going to approve it. If you leave a sensible comment and you put um, a link in there, I may well approve it. Okay, I do. But it just depends on the, the comment. If you're adding something to the conversation, no problem. If you're just putting great videos always, I probably wouldn't bother approving it. So think on that when you're leaving comments. You may think you're saving 20 seconds by putting great blog or brilliant post. But in fact, you're probably reducing dramatically the chances of your blog, co blog comment getting approved. And if it doesn't get approved, you've wasted your time anyway. So you might as well spend the extra minute, read some of the blog post and leave a sensible comment. Remember, blog commenting is really going to come into its own in the rest of 2012 and beyond. Cheers.